What's going on YouTube family? So today we're about to do this airbox mod. I'm basically about to eliminate my airbox. So let's get this started. So my uni filter is right there came in today and we're going to end up putting this in the place of this big old box so that the bike can breathe a little bit more so the first step is i believe i'm gonna have to either loosen or remove this side panel to be able to get that box off so let me figure this out real quick so basically to get this entire side panel right here off you want to loosen well remove this screw this screw and the screw right here by the um, passenger peg and then this whole thing will come loose you also have to push in this little push pin that's located like right there it's kind of dark Hold on. there you go you can see it right there and then we'll be all set so um, let me do that real quick and I'll check back with y'all in a second okay so we got the side panel off as you can see I got it laying over there next step is going to be to locate the screws that holds this box on and uh, get that out. Okay, so it looks like you actually got to take off both side panels. The other side comes off exactly the same. And there's another screw located right here on the other side that you had to get off to get the air box out. Once you get the air box out, you just break this glue loose and you pull it off. So I'm going to be replacing it with this. Basically, what I'm going to do. I'm gonna slide this over top of there and then we got a real cheap do-it-yourself um, cold air intake so let me get that on there and see how it works out so this is actually the next day I forgot to get um, some foam oil so I'm about to pull this back off real quick and oil it up and then I'll show you what my plans are for keeping that secure okay so I'm waiting on my homemade mount to um, dry with paint um, this here is basically a PVC pipe it's a half inch pipe you can see right there that I basically ended up painting what I'm gonna do is you see these little rubber grommets Let's see if the camera will focus so you see this little rubber grommet right here this came out the side of the air box and what I did was I went and purchased some washers to fit it in and I am going to glue this washer to the end of here and I'm gonna do that on both sides so it'll end up looking kind of like that. So let me get that done real quick and I'll check back with you. So what I'm gonna do is build a bracket to hold that hose in place. And basically what I'm using is some of these ever built two and a half inch corner braces, which I don't know if you can see that, but I painted it black so it's less likely to rust. And I'll be zip tying this hose clamp to the end of it. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as I get it on here. Okay, so this is my homemade bracket. As you can see, I got the clamp right there and it's mounted back behind this with a screw. You, you can't really see it. Hold on, let me try to point to it. So this black mount right here goes down and it's screwed in right there, if you can see that. So next step, um, let me put the air filter on here and show y'all how I'm gonna do that. All right, so I got the air filter on here now, and what I found out is easier is leave that bracket that you'll end up making yourself disconnected so you can swing this down. Because what I did is wrapped right around the tip of the air filter, the entire thing with some of this Super 88 because it's supposed to be waterproof and everything else, just to make sure nothing has any opportunity of getting down in there. And then you use the uni clamp and you tighten it down nice and snug. You should be good to go. Now all I gotta do is put my filter in my crankcase breather hole and um, put the fairings back on. All right, we got the uni filter right here, all mounted up. And I have my crankcase breather holes zip tied right there that's the filter and it goes down into the crankcase so now I gotta put these back on so I got the bike all back together and the last step is to brace the two fairings by putting this self-made PVC pipe right 
kind of like right in between there there's two little clips that you clip it on now as you can see we eliminated a whole bunch of weight and we got a nice little clean setup with a uni filter so it should breathe a little bit more air um, which should increase the performance but we finally all done now all that's left is to take this baby for a test ride okay so this is the first actual ride with the new air filter setup and I'm gonna let you know if I notice any difference or anything I don't notice a huge difference in the power but again I'm not really revving it up. I'm riding in between 4,000 and 5,000 RPMs since I'm in the break-in period. The break-in period says you're not supposed to go over 4,000, but at 4,000 RPMs, I can't go faster than 28 miles per hour. And anywhere in North Carolina, that ain't gonna work. So I'm not really gonna take it over 5,000, but I'm about to hit 300 miles soon, so I'm basically riding around 4,000 to 5,000 RPMs. And what I notice is if you give it some gas and you hit it up to 5,000, you'll hear the air suck in. So that right there lets me know that the bike's getting a lot more air than it was previously, which should improve the performance. And I got those weight savings going on because it's saving a lot of weight now due to the fact that i got rid of that big old bulky air box but right now we're on our way to get another upgrade i'm on my way out here to the motorcycle dealership because my tires came in so they told me drop the bike off and they'll throw the tires on so that will be in another video you'll see what tires i got on this baby i might give y'all a little sample towards the end of this video of the tires but I like the air filter mod, um, I mean the, the little piece of foam sticks out past my fender by just a pinch, but the weight savings, the way the engine is going to get to breathe a whole lot more is definitely going to help out with a lot. I know y'all are hearing some extra sounds right now, and that's because the wife is following me and she's on the center right now, and I finally got my helmet set up to where I got a mic next to the speaker. so probably hear her in her car in the video but she's uh she's actually right there i don't know if you saw her but i try to look back but she's back there following me and there's a ton of cars following us as well because i'm not going so fast let's get up here to this dealership and uh get these tires put on all right Um, just, I need my camera real quick. Huh? I'm only in my break-in period, so I only take it to 35, but it'll top out at like 65. <laughs> 